Hello, brothers and sisters. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you for being with me for another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master. God bless you. When we continue our theme uh, for the week, and that is surviving friendly fire. And I want just to focus a little bit more attention on Paul and Alexander the Coppersmith. Remember we talked about Alexander the Coppersmith, who was the star witness for the for the prosecutors who uh, were responsible for convicting Paul, and they were successful um, uh, convicting him, which resulted in Paul uh, being sentenced to death. But it was Alexander the Coppersmith, who was Paul's friend and colleague, who turned on him. And it, and it broke Paul's heart. And we read, uh, Paul says, Alexander the Coppersmith did me much harm, but the Lord will judge him for what he has done. Be careful of him, for he fought against everything we said. When he says we fought against everything we said, was, as Paul was trying to marshal his defense, guess who was there to push back against it? Alexander the Coppersmith. Here's the brother who, who Paul ate with, talk with, spent time with, planned with, and now he's there as the star witness for the prosecution uh, in order to have Paul convicted of sedition and treason and a menace to the Roman government. And Paul says, uh, for the first time I was brought before the judge, no one came to me, everyone abandoned me, may it not be counted against them. How do you respond to Alexander the Coppersmith in your life? You'll have them. I've had them. We all have Alexander the Coppersmiths in our lives. How do you respond? Number one, remember this. It's a fact of life. I mean, don't be shy when you find out you've been betrayed. It's a fact of life, okay? Paul had Alexander the Coppersmith. David had a hit the fail. Uh, Jesus had Judas. It's a fact of life. Two, never forget this, that an unaccepted gift still belongs to the giver. What I mean by that, for example, if I wanted to give you a gift and say, here, I want you to take this package and you refuse to accept, I don't want to accept that package. You tell me, I don't want to accept it, Kevin. Well, if you don't accept the package, who does the package belongs to? It still belongs to me because you didn't accept it. And there's a lot of things that people will try to do to you to make you feel bad, to hurt you. Uh, not accidentally, but intentionally. If you don't accept it, then it's it's back on them. And you have to look at what people do to you and the things that they do the same way you look at somebody who wants to give you a gift that you don't want or whatever they want to give you, you don't want it. If you don't accept it, it's not yours. Don't accept the abuse that people sometimes want to impose on you. Let them have it, let them keep it. The other thing to notice, and I talked about this yesterday, is that Paul didn't elaborate on what Alexander did. He didn't talk about it. In fact, the only reason he's talking about Alexander the Coppersmith is because he's trying to warn Timothy to watch him. So he warns Timothy, and then he moves on to other matters. That's the only reason he mentions. In other words, don't get stuck in what Alexander the Coppersmith did to you. I guess what I'm trying to say is that there is life after betrayal. There is life after hurt. Don't get bitter. Bitterness is a boomerang. It comes back to hurt you. You throw, you know, bitterness is coming. You, you try to hurt someone else and, woo, 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 and it comes right and hits you in your head. How does it hit you in your head? Well, bitterness towards Alexander the Coppersmith. If you become bitter, and bitterness, I mean, you only become bitter when you let your emotions park in a particular incident. And although we're living in 2021, there are people right now who are still living in 2015. In fact, you're living in your childhood because of what someone has done to you. Well, look, bitterness is the boomerang that comes and hurts you physically because you can't get any deep sleep, good, healthy sleep. It affects your stress, it affects your blood pressure, so it hurts you 
physically, it hurts you emotionally because you can be depressed and more than anything, you can become cynical and think you can't trust anyone because who's gonna be the next Alexander the Copper Smith to hurt me? And then it also affects you spiritually because it, you, it hinders your worship and it hinders your prayer because you can't go to a loving, holy God with a whole lot of unloving, unholy thoughts in the process. So it's a boomerang. So how then do I respond to Alexander the Coppersmith? Through forgiveness. And forgiveness is not minimizing the offense. When you forgive somebody, you're not minimizing the offense. It's not acting like it doesn't hurt. And it doesn't mean that you are friends again because friends, friendship is always based on trust. You cannot be friends with someone you do not trust. But forgiveness releases you. It's not for the person who hurt you, it's really for you, it releases you. Ephesians chapter four and verse 32 says this, instead be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you, which is the last point I want to make. And that is when you have a problem forgiving the Alexander Coppersmith, remember that we have all been Alexander the Coppersmith. I have been hurt by people, but I also must confess I have hurt some people. I have been let down from by some people, but boy, I have let some people down. Um, I have said I've been talked about by people, but you know what? I've talked about people too. And so I am in need of forgiveness because while we, we identify with Paul saying, I, I, I'm Paul, I'm Paul. Well, sometimes we're Paul, but if we'll be honest, sometimes we're Alexander or Alicia the coppersmith. Or we're not Alexander the coppersmith, we're Alexander the barber. Or we're Alexander the plumber. Or we're Alexander the school teacher. Or we're Alexander the deacon. We're Alexander the choir member. We're Alexander the preacher. And while we think we're Paul, in many instances, we have been Alexander and we have been in need of forgiveness. So, since we are in need of forgiveness, let's make sure that we forgive and extend to others what God has extended to us, which is grace. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Bless your people, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me today. Look, if you don't have a church home, I'd like to extend an invitation to you to become a part of the St. Stephen family. You can become a digital disciple online. Uh, if you're in Louisville, we'd like to invite you to worship with us, but you can worship with us also online. Email us, newstart at ssclive.org. We intentionally named our email email page new start because we want you to be able to have a new start so get back with us we will get with us rather and we will get back with you god bless you thank you so very much i'll pick up on this again tomorrow but until tomorrow don't forget during COVID 19 stay safe stay sane and remember god is in control take care my friend